standing over the free. It was Decky Dalton who took the freeze uh, against Kerry, but uh, it's Conor Lahan wearing 11 mm. and uh, a player of his captain. The middle third is very packed at the moment. Yeah, and the opposite number 11, David Reedy. Uh, he strikes it and he has uh, nailed that one. And the ref for 11 so far, the only men on the score sheet, two for Lahan and one for Reedy. Is that now we're going to change that statistic, are we? It's off the stick of number nine. That's where I think it was as Calando gets back on it. Looks around to see, does he have enough room for a shot? He does indeed. And Connor Cahillan opens his... David Reedy reads that one like a book, though, and Reedy intercepts. What can he do from here? He finds Shane O'Brien. O'Brien can't gather it. Now he does. O'Brien jinking one way. Lovely faint. O'Brien. Shane O'Brien. Well, we can't say we didn't warn you. This take an extra solo and get away from his man. So good good stuff by O'Brien. That's what he's about. That's uh, Limerick through O'Donovan. He arrows one in there. This is dangerous because Oshin O'Reilly is in amongst it. It goes all the way into the back of the net. I would say... Ball sent in. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Well taken in there by the left uh, paw of Gormrock Basang. And Basang, that's what he's there. And I think it's going to be Brian Hayes out in front. It is indeed Hayes. Hayes off the left. That uh, looks good from Brian Hayes. And there's the roar from the home support this time of year. It's Cork through the uh, Connor Lahan. Lahan off the right. Didn't even look for a pass. Lahan, that's going straight over the red spot here. He finds Luke Mead, another white helmet. Luke Mead off the right hand side. Mead is challenged late, but Mead's effort goes straight over the bar. And uh, Luke Mead's a lovely flick by O'Reilly, using his pace to catch up with him. And here's Aidan O'Connor. O'Connor finds a bit of space. Aidan O'Connor. And he is now on the. And Ula native Dara O'Donovan. O'Donovan switching across diagonally. Here's Shane O'Brien. Look at that first touch from O'Brien. And Shane O'Brien. Oh, yeah. Basang. Basang comes away with it again. What can he do? Can he find the room? Swinging one way, swinging other, drops it, gathers it again. And uh, Cormac Bissett. Long way from his Burt, uh, edge of the square, Burt, that is. That is uh, Brian Hayes. He finds Lahan and Lahan off the left. And, uh, well, you go probably pops it out to O'Connor. O'Connor off the left-hand side. That is straight and true. Like an arrow. What a score from Ed. And it makes it difficult for him. Is that the Middleton man again? Connor Lahan and Lahan's effort. It's uh, straight over the bar. There was uh, did miss maybe a three as well in the first half, but Reedy lifting and striking from the centre of the pitch, and David Reedy levels this one up again. Spars and then he rattled off three in a row from play, from uh, one I think from either wing and maybe one from the centre of the field, and this is indeed is from the centre of the field again. Between himself and Joyce, Reedy though finds O'Reilly. We were calling on O'Reilly to get involved, and uh, he must be listened to Eddie. He gets straight in amongst the far side. There's so many big hits going in around the place as Tom Morrissey gets it Morrissey doesn't even think about anything he's accused of throwing it but he finds Barry Murphy and uh, Murphy's effort is over the bar you're going to have to name another player uh, that's <laughs> going to get involved maybe on the second attempt he uh, sends it off that's a dangerous one oh is it uh, well taken inside it is oh it's a great hook and I think it was Fergal O'Connor uh, Caslow he's beaten to a Shane Barrett Barrett is he going to find his name on the score sheet now Shane Barrett yep he's just kept Lifts and strikes, and he sends Watch that him. straight over the bar. Mm. And just keeping that, that gap at a mark. Uh, let's see, ball spills, breaks its way to a cork man, and off the left side from uh, Connor Lahan. Mm. He's given an exit. And was on the cork extended senior panel in 22. Yeah, He's on an upward curve. So Middleton man has delivered the equaliser. That's Connor Lahan. No, there's a bit of space for Tom Morrissey to attack. Morrissey hand passes it off to O'Grady. And O'Grady fires it up. Scores from play. And, of course, from play spots is uh, serve Cork so well down the years. And, indeed, this afternoon as Lahan lifts and strikes. And over there, neighbours. Cork now coming up with it. There's a chance to try and win it. And it's sent in. And it's sent over the bar. Uh, even though Richie English had an excellent game pulled back. But great score by Brian Hayes. Yeah, there we, we go along. And... Uh, there is the full-time whistle. The cheers will tell you that Cork are happy to win this one. They edge it out by a point and book their, themselves a place in the Co-op Superstore's Monster Hurling League final next weekend. Uh, the narrowest of margins. They led by a point at halftime. Limerick came strong. Limerick took the lead. Uh, 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 but Cork, in fairness to them, they finished the stronger four of the last five points. That will tell you how, how well they yeah. finished. Maybe they're a little bit more legs in the tank. Uh, they had, that's and, uh, that bit fitter, yeah. But, yeah. but a nice bit of quality from Lahan, And then, of, of course, the winner... Uh, the winner there from uh, 